Can't believe the original tag was three hundred fifty. And that's the beauty of a thrifting. A few days ago, I took a trip to our local thrift store, and I found some really great things from there. So I thought it would be nice to take a break from home makeovers and do a thrift flip video to share with you guys. In my past videos, you guys saw me spray paint all the time to update the hardware. Today, I will share with you another way to update your metalware. So let's get started. The first item I picked up was this silver tray. I love the shape and the vintage look detail. The carved patterns on the inside are simply gorgeous. It just needs a little retouch and it will be a great piece for my coffee table. Many of you probably have already heard of Rub and Buff. It's formulated from carnauba waxes, fine metallic powders, and select pigments. And it's perfect for restoring metalware and other material items. It has many colors of choice. I got mine from Hobby Lobby for seven dollars. The color I picked is antique gold. This product is actually very easy to apply. Clean the surface first, then just squeeze a small amount on your finger or lint-free cloth. Gently rub it onto the surface, then buff to a shine after it's dry. I just used my cosmetic cotton pad, and it works great. I like how this tree turned out. Antique gold finish makes such a big difference. Not only is it beautiful, but it brings the warmth and the elegance to the room. The second one is this set of、uh, candle holders. These are the large contemporary solid wood pillar candlesticks with nickel brass candle cups. I got both for five dollars forty-five cents, and I can't believe the original tag was three hundred fifty. And that's the beauty of thrifting. It's always a great way to find unique and affordable things for your home and yourself. I want to turn these cups into a warm antique brass tone, so these candle holders would have a combination of vintage and modern elements. I first spray painted the cups with the Rust-Oleum matte black, just give it a dark undertone. After it's dry, then rub the antique gold on top of it. This dries very quickly, so you want to lightly work on the small area at a time. Then go around until you get the desired coverage.
The third item is this bamboo bucket with the metal straps. I got it for three dollars. I first used the Riverly's black chalk paint to paint the bucket, then used the painter's tape to cover the wooden part. This time, I just used my finger to rub the paint onto the metal straps, and it also works great. After I was finished with the thrifted items, I also updated an old brass candle holder I had previously. I am absolutely in love with this antique brass finished decors. Mixed with my dark furniture together, it really creates a dramatic and timeless effect. That's it for this time, guys. If you like this video, please give it big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.